Hey guys, before we get started on this second clip of this video, I just wanted to show you this real quick. Uh, this is the underside of the uh, 2003 mower here. Um, now, yeah, she's got some rust and everything. But, one thing I just wanted to show you, the, um, the guards are still very much intact. And another thing is, look at how much paint is still under this mower. It's not bad. This is what I was looking at the day I bought this thing. And the main thing I was looking at, look like right here. I got no oil seepage whatsoever. None. So, I don't think this mower's got a bunch of hours on it. I mean, and part of this rust is from it sitting up at a farm and the the uh, tall grass too so I mean either way but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gut this motor off of this uh, thing and then we're gonna get started on the rest of it all right so here's a quick overview of the uh, power mower that came off of the the mower uh, yeah she's uh she's been sitting a while I got all sorts of bits and pieces here and you know, she, throttle is stuck wide open. This throttle is jammed on this carburetor. That's, it kind of scared me a little bit when I first started it. I thought maybe the governor was acting up. But, anyway. But, nah. She's not all that bad. We're going to have to take this thing out for a bath. And go from there with it. But, all you know, all in all. Alright, we're still... We're still doing pretty good. Um, here's the deck over here. I went ahead and uh, found me a shroud that'll actually work for it. I'm gonna have to unbolt this deal here. Do a little modifying and everything. We're gonna get this the uh, chute to fit right on there. So, gonna be fine. Where we go from there with it. All right, so let's go ahead and I want to see what this carburetor up off of this, uh, the original one looks like, because tell you what, the throttle was stuck, fuel lines rotted and everything. Let's go ahead and pull this thing apart real quick. I just, I'm just curious what we got here. I'm just, I'm kind of thankful that we have something better in order to, to work with, because I have a feeling this one's in pretty bad shape. Oh yes. Hmm. Yeah. I, I I'm gonna say she's been sitting a while. Yeah. You know, like I said, I was kind of worried about it sitting out the farm for a year and a half. I think it's been sitting a little longer than that. I wish you guys I could smell what's going on right now. But yeah, I'm gonna say this carpet is about cooked. I mean, yes, you could clean it. It'd be no problem. But the other carburetor that I pulled off the other engine is in much better shape. So, I'd say we're all set. All right. So, up next, we're going to go ahead and tackle that other carburetor and go from there with it. All right, guys. So, we're going to do a little carburetor rebuild 101 on this old girl. Um... This is the carburetor off the parts engine and everything. We're going to go ahead and clean it up and get it ready to go. So first off, we're going to start off, we're going to get this float out of here. And there's a little pin for it. And the float just pops out off as so. Now... Uh, main thing you got your little needle valve here we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh I got a little trick for that you know put that right in there's a little oil cap here set that in there there we go 
I'm gonna have to put a little marble mystery oil in there. I'm gonna let that sit while we're redoing the rest of the carburetor. That's gonna uh, help recondition that rubber a little bit. Now, as far as uh, the uh, float itself, it's gonna clean up fairly easy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little, uh, just a little uh, fine steel wool, and that, that way we can look at it and make sure that there is no cracks in it, which uh, this particular one, I don't think that there is. But as I showed on that last video, the other one, you could actually see the cracks in it. And I don't think we have that problem with this one. But we'll, we'll, we'll make sure. Yeah. But yeah, this, this one here, she's looking pretty good. I got to give it a little more of a clean in and everything, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Now, the float bowl, I'm going to go ahead and pop the drain thing off of there. She's a little rusty in there, but I don't think it's at a point that it's going to be anything major. So, I'm going to go ahead and give her a good uh, quick thing with fine steel wool. Alright, yeah. There's still a little more to go. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not that good either. <laughs> so that's where we're going to break out the Dremel. Go ahead and take this little wire wheel on it. This is something I would suggest anybody has. If you're going to mess with small engines and whatnot, this thing is like. And the good thing is that Dremel used to, well, Dremel always sold their own parts, but uh, now you can go over to Walmart, get some Piper Cuff stuff, and which does the same thing, it's about a third of the price. wipe this thing down real quick and I'll show you what's up. But yeah, look at that. Um, I got a little more to do on that, but I mean, you know, for the amount of time you see me doing that, that's, uh, that's a big improvement. And the rest of this will clean up nice, nice, easily. That's not a problem. And again, got your... You know, the carburetor is just a little bit dirty inside. Not not all that bad. But, again, very easy. Now, this, this drum will got to clean this thing right up. Now, I can't do the whole thing on video, but, but still, you know, you can imagine how quick and easy that this whole job is. It's not really a big deal whatsoever. I gotta spray some WD-40 in here and whatnot and get all that. But it's really, it's a really simple procedure.
only thing I really got left on this car, but I want to try and get this jet out of it. I'm hoping it'll actually come out this time. There we go. Yep. Oh, yes. There we go. It actually came out. So we're gonna go ahead and run the paper clip through the end of this thing, spray it down, clean it up a little bit, and this carburetor will be good to go. Um, now I had mentioned, this is your main vent for this carburetor. And also you got, um, right here, There's the one for your emulsion tube. We're gonna clean that out. We're gonna blast it with some little carburetor cleaner. And this this car will be good to go. I have no doubt in my mind this carburetor is gonna run absolutely perfect. You know, a little more clean and whatnot, but so that's where that is. <clears throat> now one other thing I wanted to show you real quick. So here's the engine. Um, I did, uh, I pulled the coil off of it and cleaned it up outside with a hose and everything. I mean, it's looking all right. It's, it's not looking like a brand new engine. I don't want it to look like a brand new engine. But one thing I wanted to point out, look at this green gasket. It's, uh, it's, this, this is an original engine as far as I'm concerned. And that's just showing me that this engine doesn't have a bunch of hours on it because that, that should be filthy soaked with junk and, you know, all tarnished and whatnot. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna clean this thing up like brand new or anything. I, I'm not, I have no intention on that, but I don't think this um, engine's got a bunch of hours on it. All right, now we're going over here to the deck. Um, so I pulled that um, that piece off of here so we can put the new chute on it. Now I took this chute, I actually, uh, I cut a little chunk out of it so it fit a little better. This is off a uh, old weed eater or something to that effect, but you know, it's gonna sit on there pretty good. Now what you wanna do here, you're gonna notice you got, you got your two studs here. And what you wanna do there, you're gonna set this thing up where it belongs, mark where your two studs are, and then you gotta wait, you know, we got an area where you're gonna punch your holes to, to drill them out and whatnot. I'm sorry about the lighting and hey guys, I'm sorry. The last video got interrupted and it started messing up and everything. Um, but anyway, we're, we're going with this. Um, I was able to get the uh, chute mounted up there. I'm sorry about the lighting. This is a long story. But anyway, we got that where it belongs. Got her all bolted down and everything. What I was getting at in the last video was the... All the adjusters on this mower are stuck, just from sitting and whatnot. I had this side apart during the first clip, and I just wanted to show you. I didn't clean it up super good or anything, but I got the axle shaft all cleaned up nice. I had the whole thing apart, and now, as you can see, it actually goes the way it's supposed to. So, now, you got this side here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart for you, which I had meant to do in the first video on the other side, but anyway, we're gonna pull this thing apart, we're gonna clean it, and get it ready to go again. Let me give you a little quick show on that. All right, that should pretty much do it. So, 
The outside bolt on this particular mower is a 15 sixteenths and the inside's a 9 sixteenths. So we're gonna go ahead and get that where it belongs. So, there's really not a whole lot to this. You got your little plastic piece here, neoprene, whatever you want to call it. This is part of the adjuster itself. You got your, uh, the little lock down there. Your bolt. And then this is a, this washer, you're going to notice it's kind of a, got kind of a bevel to it. It's, it's, I think it's called a thrust washer or something to that effect. Basically, when it tightens down, it's going to hold tension to the, the adjuster. So, we're going to go ahead and take this stuff over here. This is where your, uh, where your wire wheel, like I've said in previous videos, this thing's going to be one of your best friends. And let me grab my safety glasses. There we are. So we're going to go ahead and clean all that stuff up really good. Start off with the little plastic piece here. While we're here, you had to get this axle jack all done. Normally, I would do that here with it on the mower. But not to do that. Got that nice and shiny again. Oh, that's that good. There we go. Yeah, we got that looking all clean again. Now we'll go ahead and this little bolt with the shoulder on it. We gotta get that cleaned up. If I'm not going crazy, you know, cleaning these things brand new, we're just cleaning all the sliding parts off. So that way, the thing will, uh, it'll slide them. I mean, I could clean this thing all I want to. It's still going to be a 2003 one. So at least I can, you know, now I can tell people, yes, I did clean it. To the point everything works as it should. That's pretty much all you want out of it. You just want to get the, the rust off out of it. That's pretty much all it takes for something like that. With Like I, I'm always, you know, I'm trying to do whatever I can to make everybody's life easier, especially mine. But 
this this thing will uh, once it's all put to back together it'll work perfect <laughs> another little trick i came up with today i was just sitting there daydreaming so you know i i'm always saying about cleaning up the thing the wheels with the uh uh, with the steel bushings and everything. Well, here's my little trick for uh, tip for today. Now, I actually have a wire wheel that goes on this thing that'll work perfect. But this is just an old piece of threaded rod. Threw a piece of sandpaper on there. Threw your uh, wheel like such. There you go. Kind of hard to see it, but that's that's really all it takes to do that. Um, so as far as this goes, with this, I'm going to end the second part of this video. Um, I, I know it's getting long and everything. So, but next week, uh, tune in. We're going to go ahead. We're going to zap this thing all back together. We're going to hear it run and... Hopefully go out for, well, it ain't going to go out for sale till spring. I'm not going to bother cleaning up the deck right now until springtime. But, yeah, we're, we're going to hear it run and all that stuff. So I really thank you for watching this video. And um, like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, tell me what you think thus far. So you guys have a great day, and we'll catch you on the rebound.